say that the double duelist is going to push the uh, they're going to push the extremities and the rest of the team is going to play a little bit more central that's you know two rounds in a row shanks and and some pushing forward together down the middle they've got double flash and have a lot of utility at their disposal we'll see how that of course pans out furthermore fiend going to find one shanks trades it away spike is taking and they're just trying to not let them through the link side and hold down to the garage as well as infinite tries to lurk through has a little bit of time but can't make it quite on the opposite side there's a player down that long as well. Shanks and company starting their push forward. Don't know if there's a recon dart available. Trades happen, but it does go to the favor of NRG. It's, it's down to temperature. Shock dart's going to find one. Has another one on the table. There's one player is caught jumping around looking for the spot. Still have to say that it went down to the wire in that force up round. And once again, we're seeing Shanks and Som and Infinite this time push forward. Alexander's going to back away. Shanks waiting underneath the windowsill he's actually going to move on forward unfortunately caught with the curveball in his in his hand as rebo will trade him out down to two players here for nrg should be around like you said moon raccoons will be able to clean up just trying to play it a little bit safer to start uh, i think that might be kind of the um the pace of the match that we'll see moving on into the rounds forward a lot of aggression early on eco or not force up or not from nrg just consistently pushing that that courtyard and Moon Raccoon's playing all possible extremities, just holding the angles, waiting for energy to make a mistake. And so far, you know, we'll see if it, if those courtyard plays do end up feeling more like mistakes or more like calculated plays. But so far, it's just kind of been a 50-50. You know, they win it or they lose it. Um, but with players like Shanks and Som, those are players that you do want pushing those extremities. Players that you do want trying to find those flashes, those utility usage uh, to find those extra picks for the team and built up all tours. He was maybe looking to see what he can grab. No real point in holding onto the guns here. NRG wanted to make that sure that that's Andy, you die in the process. There goes EU, just a one player left. Should be too long, but Reba might not be expecting to see the player over there, but wins oh. the engagement nonetheless oh. with a nice clean shot. Now they're going to have to use a lot of utility to kind of do their homework. Okay, who's in this garage? Who's pushing through and they're actually going to use a run it back to push in towards this B side. It's a pretty safe plant now with the smokes down. Energy don't have a lot of utility other than this Hunter's Fury and so far it tags too. Can't find the conversion onto the frag. Tags a teammate as well on the way out. But the defuse is coming in. They're up to half now. The molly comes through. Shock darts as well and there'll be one player that falls to the molly but there's still players on the opposite side. They're getting aggressive. Curveball ready. Alexander still wants more but there's a player in the corner. It's Daps down to the 3v3. Recon Bolt's going to reveal his location for the time being. And it's up to half, so this is beautiful. Good late orbital strike, and unfortunately Daps has to push forward. It's traded by a quick shock dart frag down to the 2v2. Now the defusal starts to come through. Som and EEIU just decimate Moon Raccoons, and they'll tie us up 2-2. Two two. And considering how much utility Moon Raccoons threw that. But maybe closer towards that mid-round as they wait, and now the Knives are out, the jump comes in. Unfortunately for Mr. Fiend, he can't convert onto anything. It's infinite, just holding down. The left click finds two, Daps will find the third, down to one final player. It's Rebo, he's gonna try to spray through with the Stinger. He was the only one that really did not buy the most ideal hardware as it was the force up for Moon Raccoons, trying to bounce back their economy. But Energy are gonna stick it, find this round likely into their hands and find the round lead. Winning out on Utility too. looking at what they have, the Orbital Strike, the Empress. Certainly curious to see uh, what temperature is going to get done with the Hunter's Fury for the Silver, which is available soon. But right now, Rebo just seeing if you can catch somebody off guard. Doesn't quite know that Shanks is watching that angle. He set up the post plant, get in position down the long and sewer side, and make energy play into them. Careful. Is a run it back available? If someone wants to use it and he is going to sort of throw it out now see if you could spot too much does take the engagement onto fiend he is pretty low but of course the ultimate is going to bring him back in a second if he can get another he does with temperature suddenly this is winnable for nrg curveball comes through and once again the fight still continues eu on the opposite side but doesn't even need to look down the sewer side it's shanks with the three-piece wall giving him just some beautiful scenery as he diffuses the spell. Uh, and come up to par just yet but some yet again wanted to make a play the flash is good but he gets traded out with the sheriff from alexander who actually picks up a nice shot onto eu sort of holding onto the back of garage there now here's running backs available 
Ooh, he was hoping that his partner there, Ryan, was going to be able to survive the bloodbath pushing into the garage side. But now Alexander has gotten so much space. Now that space is only a visual sight line. Players have started to rotate over after hearing the running back, after the battle that has occurred in the garage. Now it's down to Alexander and company. Temperature. Standing ahead. Playing it a little bit slower. 50 seconds left. We're in that mid-round now. And to be honest, energy could be anywhere. Unicoons, they've got time uh, to plant on the A side if they want, but at this point, it's, it's, it's a little bit too far out. You know, it's a little bit of a too far away to consider now. But that is not spiked down. Alexander's going to get it down. No utility left for him, so he can't re-engage accordingly. He's got to deal with energy as they come, and unfortunately, not exactly sure where it's positioned, but it does manage to find a player. Alexander still pushes through. He's still tagged by it, or at least the recon bold infinite. Scoops that one up for free. Gets 200 and passes go. As it's down to four players here from Lunukun's Hunter's Fury to try to clear out the link side. Shot's going to be good for feet, but there's still a player chasing him down. Has to walk through the fire and the flames on easy mode. And it's down to the 4v4 in the post plant. Infinite has a nice little flank coming through, but there's two players there. Somebody's got to be looking in this direction. Nice. Temperature was there. He had the right idea at least, so that flank isn't going to work out. And now the Hunt is Fury. Oh, the Hunt is Fury. Neural Theft, sorry. <laughs> He's going to get used to show up. A bit more information. Fiend, Ooh. just on an awkward angle, tries to dash away, but gets stuck on a wall. Easy kill for Shanks. Miracle's oh. trying to hold on, but bit by bit, they're losing out. Even Ryan dedicating the orbital strike Ooh. isn't quite enough. They just need to find that Cypher to oh. know exactly where he is, and Shanks gets a third. Nice play from him. Dirty, but there's no time! Oh no, there's no time! Makes for the site. Spike is down, and of course, energy are, are right to be within the vicinity. The fight for this retake. They know that the Owl Drone was taken out. That's the correct call. Spray down, work together as a roster. Find that player trying to get out of the mouse hole. Now the orbital strike on the flip side. We'll see if Infinite manages to escape. He will. As now the entry here for the defense has started to come through. Alexander just trying to clear out the garage side. But there's still a player through the doors. And he's actually going to be able to find Alexander. He left the orbital strike and he's able to double back. But now Spike is being diffused. There's nothing that Moon Raccoons can do. Energy, they inch their way. But he wants to make stuff happen. And RG with the buyer are able to get the first kill onto Ryan. Who thought he was a little bit sly holding into that corner. But Song can... Easily check it. Now he's seeing if he can get more. Does he expect Fiend in this position though? No. Well, nobody's coming through short and nobody was expecting that push through mid coming out from Daps. Able to get quite a lot done and the spike yet again is going to get planted. But Fiend is not expected there. He gets two. He's been there the whole time. He can even wow. add even more from the Spectre play. He could dash out if necessary, but wow. who needs it? Clean up from him. A 4k temperature clears it. Absolutely nothing. Mimrakun's happy to take a step back for now. Let this play come through. Temperature from heaven is getting a lot of damage in on the nice. shoulder. And he even gets the kill onto infinite, but the spike gets planted. We'll die for the sins of energy trying to clear out the site doesn't get value with the running back and you see Munukun's playing a little bit patient waiting for Rebo to get into a flank position but guess who's there Shanks it's an engagement to watch Shanks leaves it oh no there's a tripwire there so at least that's there it does get cleared Rebo now in a tough spot has to check this off angle unfortunate for him not going to quite work out, work out but Munukun's are already trying to engage this long side battle Ryan finds two the spray's crispy clean the spray now trying to take out the diffuser and Daps he sees him oh it gets so close Ryan with the 4k it's beautiful no but he doesn't have enough time the spike will clean him up in energy I mean Raccoon's happy to sit pretty on the seaside it's mostly A that they're going to try and push oh Using two ultimates there, the running back and the orbital strike. Embarrassing. Alexander trades it out. Energy, despite this heavy push, exactly. only trade one. And of course, there's a shock dart lineup waiting. Temperature gets in line. Is he going to be able to successfully hit it this time? Nope. Doesn't even tag the player planning that spike. That's infinite. Now on the retreat. And we're now to a, uh, a standoff. Spike's ticking. Moon Raccoons have to work their way into the site. There's a wall up. Smokes are down. They're being delayed. And Energy are going to play at least very close towards this long side. They're waiting for the smoke to dissipate. They're waiting to get involved. And Mr. Mr. Fiend is going to have to 
Push forward, spray works out, a player gets injured, it's Shanks, he does not- Whoa! Gets a little aggressive there, Daps! Comes in from the connector side, cleans up three. Gotta deal with all sorts of play, and Moonraccoon's actually wanting to play a bit more aggro. Fiend is able to get a kill, but most importantly, survives with his life, albeit he is a bit weaker when it comes to HP. The Empress from Shanks is out, Garage is under his full control, and he might sneak in. I don't think Fiend is expecting him here. Miss gets him into a good position as well. Daps providing some additional lurking firepower from the windowsill. Courtyard frag in the, into the pocket of energy. Munukun's down to three. Potentially looking at on, a loss. Empress still available. Munukun's just waiting things out. Here comes the runner back, hoping to find some value, but Alexander. Flame will be extinguished. Daps, once again in the lurking yeah, position, oh. finds the pick onto Alexander. That's huge. And the hat comes out as well. Will the trick follow after that? Temperature trades it out, but it's down to the 3v2 as energy members retreat. So much information to get, but so little time now. The recon bolt is going to try and catch on through, but it actually goes all the way to the tunnel. It gets no information. And it does still get a kill onto Infinite, who was holding it, but now a one versus one Rebo has to go for the defuse, but he's so low on HP, has no idea where someone's going to be positioned, so he has to be a bit more proactive to get the kill. Is he going to get him before the curveball goes through? No! And it's 13-9 to NRG on Haven. Nice. So they are going to try and re-engage, boss out a lot of this utility, oh. and they weren't expecting Alexander to be in that spot. Nice little pins with a teleport play. Fiend picking absolutely no damage. Is able to make sure that B is under their control and NRG changing the temper up to A. Ryan's going to try to survive or stop them pushing in from the U-Haul side. And that's going to leave energy a little bit scarce. Don't have the cover. They need to deal with Ryan first. He manages to find a pick. He does get traded, but temperature is already going to replace him. As the team has gotten into U-Haul and feeling quite comfortable. Temperature. Doesn't really have a lot of utility left in the tank for him. The spike is taking 3v3 as an injured player. Make that another. His temperature will fall. Sky out of the picture. He will fall as well to the shorty. And Alexander is going to try to chase Daps. Dude does find its mark. As Fiend is just trying to play close. Needs to defuse. They're trying to play contact here. But unfortunately for Fiend, he can't play the closeness. Spike is starting to tick. It's about to blow. He does find the frag. Can he clean it up? He cannot. Alex. Goons. Team spinning that they've got an animal on the roster. Temperature. Those pigeons will be dealt with. EU will find that from range. So I'm playing. Attacking side of turret. Just trying to see any of those players rotating through. I mean, they heard a lot of that come through. And a swarm. Almost finds. Oh, it does. Fiend gets cooked up alive. Three players now. The buddy system trying to just survive, trying to find some picks, and so far it's been a flawless round for energy. Just gonna keep adding to that momentum. They're building up ultimates, having the Hunter's Fury, having a lockdown. It's just adding insult to injury so far. Min Raccoons will be going into this with a full bind. They still have quite a bit to work with and they're making sure that they can break the economy just a little bit from players like Infinite. But in reality, it's not gonna amount to much. The economy for NRG is gonna be pretty strong. And four members surviving means on the opposite side, so backs away accordingly. Orbital strike a little late time, as they've already made their way out. And Rebo is actually going to be able to stop the push forward. Fiend will participate in that action as well. The crosshair of the waffle is not going to quite work out for Rebo, but Fiend with the showstopper. And now it's Alexander. The Empress has been popped. He uses dismiss to go invisible as it's down to Daps. Finds Alexander, but can it looks like they've got some um, SMGs of sorts. So. Certainly some shotguns if you're playing for Buka. Not gonna work out for Moon Raccoons this time. And we've seen this play before. Pigeon through the portal. Send a player through. It's just gonna give a little bit of time for Bean to push up and try to get some value. They'll actually jump through, but this is the eco round for Moon Raccoon, So they're just trying to do some damage. And unfortunately the damage... Oh, okay. They'll find a pick there. Ghost and Sheriff combination is now energy are waiting on the opposite side. Spray comes through. Nope. Not going to let you get that weapon for free. Down to Alexander. Third down. 
players in Octagon. Finds a pick, dismiss. Okay, 1v3, a little bit doable, but a little bit difficult, just the same. Spike's ticking. The angle set up from Octagon, and there's a player that's snuck in towards the elbow side. That's beautiful. He's just trying to wrap around by time. Another pick goes to Daps. Or rather, onto Daps. And Alexander might just be looking to escape. Can he find another one? Yes, he can. The damage has been done on the eco for Moon Raccoons, despite losing final few rounds. Moon Raccoons have just been so reactive to plays from NRG. Right now, they're sitting back. Som is able to get, not a kill, actually, but Infinite and Shanks are able to follow up on the temperature and Rebo. Down to the 3v3. Spike's still not down, but we've never really seen that be a problem for energy before. Unfortunately, it's the orbital strike. It'll cook, cook Ryan up alive. He was just trying to get to safety. Now down to the 2v3. Moon Raccoons bringing it down to one, bringing it down to none. Sh I really want to see them play a bit more for the post plant, and might have to. NRG are barreling for onto B. And the Seekers are out as well. We'll see if they'll make their way over towards the B site there. It might be a little bit too late to the party. Fiend finds one still alive. As usually, races get shot out from the sky. Boomba comes through. He's got the shotgun, a.k.a. the operator. Doesn't quite work out. Can't use it at close range. It's intended for long-distance purposes. It's down to the 2v2. Shot's going to be good. Oh, he... Sees the tracers, daps, takes out temperature just down to Ryan. The latest edition has the orbital strike available. Easy peasy, takes that one. Now the smokes to give him a little bit more space to work with. Orbital strike from the octagon, but the player was never. Ali's gonna push him back. There's players from energy jumping in. Alexander is gonna get a quick taste of that. Down to four players here from Lunar Coons, but they're not fast rot rotating to eight, which is what normally happens. That spike down. Shanks having to reload the clip as it runs dry. Down to one final player. It's Ryan, and he's caught between the smoke. Finds the pick, Ooh. finds two. Oh, goodness. He will finally find that last redemption frag, but that was looking like to reset mentally, and of course, literally. But considering Moon Raccoons have been flip-flopping this aggression on the defensive side towards Showers, they'll continue it on the defense side as well. Quick trade now as the entry comes in for Moon Raccoons on the safe site. Oh, there's still a player back in Showers at Shanks. He'll find the pick still alive as there's another player on the turn. Here comes Fiend. As he's supporting, he makes his way through a short completely and just wraps around. But it's still the 3v3. Daps is still holding from lamps. This position hasn't been taken, but Temperature from Distance is able to get that kill. EU has been spotted, has a recon bolt. He's going to try and line it up to see if he can get this player that's just picked up the spike, but they weren't expecting Infinite, who goes on a pretty mad flank. It's a 1v1 now. EU recon bolt is going to come through. You know, it's exactly where the Rainer is playing from. But Alexander's been so good so oh. far, but not good enough. Match point from EU and NRG. Yeah, EU's just clutch. He's crispy clean. One of the things that I don't think North America gets a lot of credit of. It's going to be the way to open up this round. It's going to at least try to confirm who can control, but Som is holding on with Boombot, with Seekers. He's still holding that spot, and he's still good wow. for one before Alexander trades him out. It's been so difficult to remove him, but EU oh! is just cleaning up at this point. A third kill with the Hunter's Fury. Alexander's got to keep Moon Raccoons in it. Oh, that's dirty. Okay, we've got the Empress here. We've got nothing. We've got a whole lot of nothing as Daps will steal not only...